Hello and welcome to segment two of Citizens Forum being filmed on Tuesday, April the 28th in the Memorial Arena. Our guest in this segment is Darren Alexander. And Darren, you are planning a conference kind of called Media, Democracy, and You. So thank you very much for doing that. Well, uh, thanks for th the thanks. And uh, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure, I've got to say, connecting with uh, so many journalists, media scholars, um, social justice act advocates. Um, we're bringing all of these people together, well, not all of them, but a, a good many of them, close to 20 speakers will be part of that, that day on Saturday, June 6th, um, kicking off what we're, uh, uh, the, that this banner of Media Democracy Day is in Victoria. Yeah. Um, so, what's the aim? <laughs> the aim, the aim is, uh, I thought you might ask. The aim is, the it is really to, to provoke um, and probe, uh, to bring to, um, to the public an opportunity to really discuss and, um, and, 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 and kind of toss around different ideas, different perspectives, different points of view around our relationship with our media. That's the, the, the media that gives us our, our news in particular is what we're focusing on here. So where we get our news, where do we look for it? What kind of news do we get? What kind of news are we not getting? Why is the news that we want not in this, in, in, in some places, but to be found in others? We can wanna, we trust it? Can we trust certain sources? All of these um, uh, themes, I guess, will be, uh, will be tumbled around on that day um, through a variety of panels with these uh, a, 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 a slew of speakers, an impressive roster of speakers, including yourself. Um, and, uh, and, and they, they, as I say, and uh, local. they're journalists, they're media producers, they're scholars, they're activists and advocates. Um, and, um, and, and they'll be grappling with, uh, with a lot of these questions. Do we have a free press? Um, what kind of shape is our democracy and why is it working or not? Um, how, uh, how do you find the news that, that feeds us? In other words, that, that, that gives us the and information. And also how do we make the news that And us, also yeah. how do we make the news? How, do, how can we be a part of the news? How can we change our orientation from being passive consumers of news to actually being participants in the news or producers of the news. And you were telling me about the layout of the day and it sounds like actually that activist part is a fairly big part. Absolutely, yeah. In a number of ways. There's the, um, there's the advocacy around d democratic issues and, and in that regard we have representatives from Fair Vote Canada, from the B BC Civil Liberties Association will be joining us. Um, people speaking to matters of our democracy, quite, quite literally. Um, representation, different kinds of voting um, 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 systems. Uh, and then that tie-in with, well, how, how does, what does media have to do with that? How does the media that we engage with or that we choose to participate in um, affect our democratic interests, our social interests? our individual interests. Yeah. These are the kinds of questions. I, I mean, to me, there's, there's nothing more important in, in, in uh, moving ahead to uh, something, uh, moving ahead towards better things, you know, for all of us, mm -hmm. is, is honest media. Um, what I'd like to see also come out of it is um, kind of people having an opportunity to maybe join a group that is going to be working yeah. here to build yeah. something. I don't know what. I, I love the, the, the idea. I hope this is also a networking opportunity for all of these people coming together. The audience on the one hand and, and, the, and the presenters on the other. Um, and, and so out of that, I like to think that there will be lots of synergy 
and, uh, and, 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 and exchange and opportunities to come out of that. Um, there's, there's, uh, hopefully there, w and Media Democracy Days is something that I, I like to think is all, is here to stay. So this is the launch officially, um, but it's, uh, and this will be a, there's a slate of events, by the way, not just this day of panels coming on board, workshops. When is it? Uh, in early June. The day of panels is Saturday, June the 6th, but before that day and throughout the week after are now a number of events have come on board um, and they're, we're adding more every day. Uh, opportunities to learn how to um, be a citizen journalist, how to improve your video work, how to get involved in radio and podcasting. Um, the, the, uh, the list is growing and we're bringing on board organizations like MediaNet, Cinevic, these independent producing uh, kind of cooperatives, uh, CFUV Radio, um, and, uh, and other uh, organizations too are, are just, uh, the, the, it's just a growing roster as I say. Best place to find out uh, about what's going on at this time is our Facebook event page. It's uh, Media Democracy Days Victoria and uh, you can look that up on, on Facebook. We're, we're updating that constantly. Where's it going to be? Oh, good question. Yeah. Victoria Event Center okay. on Broad Street for that Saturday Day of Panels. And the other events are these satellite events taking place in different locations. I should mention it's where um, uh, Sunset Room uh, is is providing live stream coverage of the event. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, Kirk Schwartz by uh, MediaNet has kindly come on board to be offering a uh, a workshop for teens the same day, so that they can bring their devices, their iPad, their iPhone, their mobile phone, and he will be showing them, teaching them, training them, kind of capacity building with this team of teens to, uh, to engage them as citizen journalists on that day, interviewing panelists, covering the day, and, uh, and reporting. And um, maybe throwing it onto the live and stream. And it'll go onto like the that. live stream, yes. Uh, and uh, so we'll Plus we're planning to make the documentary. Uh, oh, yes, the great documentary of the day. And we're, I show it on Channel 4. And it'll be on Channel 4. There's the debate that has been, has, uh, I, I, you've worked hard right, to, right. to, well, to arrange. Right, right. Well, I haven't worked that hard. Well, but, it's, but it's coming together, a debate yeah. of Oak Bay students, it sounds like. And that will be, hopefully, on on Citizens Forum a week or two before the Media Democracy and You conference, mm -hmm. there will be a sort of a formal debate in what the teacher called parliamentary style, and I'm embarrassed to say I don't even know what that means. Uh -huh. I know nothing about debating, but I wish I knew more about debating, so I'm looking forward to seeing this. And they're going to kind of um, take this general topic, and uh -huh. it should be interesting. The Media Democracy topic, yeah. yeah. So it we got a minute great. and a half left. Okay. What's, uh, what's well, I could. Uh, I, there's. Um, I, I. I almost hate to get into the to the to the list of individuals uh, involved in the day because uh, then I would mention some and yeah, leave right, out right, others, right. and that doesn't sound. See, yeah, that's no, not that very democratic at all. Um, so I suggest that anybody interested to go to. Uh, the confirmed speakers are now uh, on on the Facebook event page. And as I say, there's still uh, we're still working out that 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 day. Uh, there's a, there's a few more to be confirmed. Okay. So we've got a very little bit of time left. How important is media to democracy? Media to democracy is is uh, is like is like this. <laughs> it it it's in intricately and inextricably connected. Uh, in order for there to be true democracy, citizens need to be informed. Uh, for citizens to be informed, media has to be doing its job. Um, and, and it's got to be doing a job with some integrity, with some sincerity, and with some uh, good intention. Uh, a profit-based media, corporate media in other words, sometimes called mainstream media, is uh, not generally interested in much else outside of the, the profit. And um, that's problematic for democracy. 
And that's where independent and alternative media outlets come in and they can kind of fill those gaps. But And we're out of time. And we're out of time. Thank you very much for saying that. I really enjoyed it. And thanks for watching this segment of Thank Citizens you. Forum. Thank you.